This is Oscar Bevis for the Stomping Ground, powered by Wow Hydrate and available on the zone. What a pleasure to be able to sit down with the man, Arta Baterbi. I appreciate you giving me some of your time. How are you today? Good, I'm good, thank you. How are when you? did you fly into London? This morning, okay. six o'clock, six okay. a.m. Nice flight? Huh? Nice flight? Nice flight, yeah. Good, good. I want to know what memories you've got of London. Obviously, you came here to fight Anthony Yard in what was a brilliant fight, defended your world title. What's your feeling like of London as a place? London is a nice place. You know? I always uh, enjoy to be here. Yeah. Of course, Riyadh is where the fight's going to be on October the 12th. How different is the fight now to what the fight would have been on June the 1st? Four months have gone by. How different is the fight now? I don't know, it's, when you have some injury, it's tough always to adapt injury and do your work. Now is um, we're fixing injury and working 100%. Was there ever a point where you thought the fight wouldn't happen? No. You always knew this fight was going to happen? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How does the body feel right now? Body feel is good, not bad. Yeah. Of course, head in into the ring, the fight is the most important thing, but I want to know what you think of Dimitri Bivol as a man. Take away the boxing. What do you think of Dimitri as, as a person? You know, when you have a relation with someone, you know about him, yeah? Yeah, I don't know a relation with him because I don't know as a man. As a boxer, he's a good boxer. He's, he has good experience in um, amateur and professional, like he holding one belt. And uh, he's a good boxer. I'm respect of always all my previous opponents and future my opponents, you know, always like this. Because you have gone face to face before. I was wondering if you're the sort of person who, when you look into a fighter's eyes, do you see anything? Not just Dimitri, any <laughs> fighter. Do you get anything from a fighter's eyes? Because no. you always seem very I relaxed. See ice. I see eyes when I see. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it makes sense. Because you always seem very relaxed. So I want to know. Away from boxing, away from training, what does Arthur Baterbiev do in his spare time? Very kind person. Yeah. What sort of hobbies and interests do you have? Uh, what do you mean? Do you like football, TV, music? No, football I don't like. Okay. Um, I mean, I like football, but I mean, I'm not a fan of football. And uh, no. I what would you do after? So you finish training, you go home, what do you do? I go home, enjoy to be home. Yeah. That's it. Just enjoy being out of a Yeah. Um, do you watch a lot of boxing as a fan? No. On, like on television or? No. Is it because obviously you made your debut in 2013, you boxed a lot as an amateur as well. Can boxing sometimes get quite a lot because your whole life is a big bubble of boxing? Can it sometimes be a little bit too much? Yeah, you know, I want to, like, I, I train three times, uh, I train two times per day, six days per week, and I want to do uh, day off of everything, you know. So you don't even think about yeah, boxing? Yeah, don't even think, because, but all, all his shows always going, uh, go uh, in Saturday, Sunday, yeah. Sunday, and you, I, but I want, I want to go Sunday uh, boxing show or watch boxing yeah. show, you know. Yeah. It means it's, uh, I'm full week in boxing. I don't want to be like this. You know what, I feel you. Sometimes you just yeah. need a little bit of time yeah. off. Because um, like I said, because you've been doing it for so long, have you got a number in your head of how many more you want, how many years, how many fights? No, I don't know. I don't know because if it's everything good, uh, no injuries, everything, I, I will continue. Yeah. What does this fight mean to you? It's the biggest fight in my boxing career because it's for undisputed, for four belt, you know. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm really excited for this fight. What sort of fight are you expecting stylistically when the bell goes and you two face up? What do we get? We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. See, all the fans want us to say you're going to get a war. That's what the fans want. Could we? We'll Maybe. See. We'll see. Maybe. We'll see. Um, My you... coach tell me, no, don't tell <laughs> details, you know. Right, so we got, if I turn the camera off, yeah, yeah, you tell me yeah, details? Yeah, no. Maybe. <laughs> um, what's your, have you got a dream fight after Dimitri Bivol? No, but, uh, right now, it's my dream fight. All fight is like Dimitri Bivol now. After we will take thinking and we'll see. Because a lot of people talk about Dimitri Bivol and Canelo Alvarez, but I would love to see Artur Baterbiev and Canelo Alvarez. 
I don't know. When he, Canelo Alvarez has uh, one belt from my division, that time I want to fight with him. But now I don't, I don't think so. It's I don't interesting. Really, didn't interesting. I fight with him. So a belt's the most important thing. Of course. You. Yeah. Um, just one final question. I know you're going to tell me that you're going to become victorious, become undisputed champion, but how? If you can give me a prediction around, do you knock him out? Do you, is it a masterclass? Do you win on points? How do you win on October the 12th? <laughs> you know, all my previous fights, I never, I never gave pred predictions. And it's not, not, not for us now, we're in London? Nobody, <laughs> nobody. I'm not a pred predictor, you know. I'm just a simple boxer. And I do my job like, like I, I can do. I will do my best.